Hello everyone. In this video, we'll look at how we can use the console helm chart to get a console cluster up and running on Kubernetes. First, we'll navigate to the HashiCorp console helm repo. Next, we copy the clone URL and clone this repo locally. Like most helm charts, the console helm chart provides you with certain values that you can use to configure your console cluster. So let's explore a few of these values. So we have the global section that allows you to enable or disable all the components provided by this chart. We have the server section that provides you with the server image, the replica count, things like storage, and also enabling and disabling the connect feature that was released recently as part of console. You can also set the data center name and the resource limits. We also have the client section that enables you set the image and provide a few other flags. So let's see how we can use this console help chart to get a console cluster up and running on Kubernetes. So I'm gonna provide a set of values that would override the default values that were provided by this helm chart. I'm specifying the data center. I'm also making the UI service available using a load balancer. Let's now run helm install using the values we had specified. Here, the console helm directory has our chart. We've successfully deployed our helm chart on our console cluster. We can see we have created some pods, config maps, services, daemon sets, the stateful set, and a pod disruption budget. Let's see the status of our pods. Here, we see all our client pods are ready. Our servers are just being bootstrapped. Here, we have all our servers running now. Let's take a look at our console UI service. We have the service that's still pending its external IP address. Let's check on the service again. Here we see we have an external IP available to access the console UI. As you can see, we have a console UI up and running with a fully bootstrapped and healthy console cluster. This is how easy it is to use the console helm chart and get a console cluster up and running on Kubernetes. Thank you.